Hello Frisky Fighters, welcome back to the channel today. You're gonna be here for the first ever video for the Properly Play series of Farlight 84. Now with all the updates, I felt it was correct to come back and do this and do it properly with everyone being updated, with the heroes actually getting new skills and weapons being updated and nerfed and buffed, everything like that. So we're starting right here from the get go. And as you know, I am a support play and support main. So we're gonna start off with my favorite hero so with that being said let's just go ahead and dive on in so you can learn how to properly play Senna now Senna is your, your support champion she's gonna be the best support in my opinion for doing things like healing your team making sure they're healthy keeping them alive and also if you're a passive player she's great for that though you can also be very aggressive that all depends on your play style and that comes down to your skills your equipment that you're using your internet service things like that but from the get-go, let's just go ahead and look at her skill kit, what she has for you so you can know how to play with her. As you can see, now, she is a just a full-on health-giving lover of healing. Now, she has her Medic X, that is her ultimate. This little pretty baby right here will fly and get to all of your people. It will appear right behind them, and not only will it heal them up, not only will it actually pick them up if they are down, it will just be an overall really great utensil and tool to use for your team whenever you see that they're struggling or if they're in help, but you can't get to them. Now, this bot can be destroyed. That is something that you guys need to remember as a center player. So just don't throw it out willy-nilly, but just know that there is a shield, there is a healing process, and then there is actual health to this bot. So when you throw it out, and if they don't get revived, it be, could be because of that. So if you have this on you, be sure to A, don't move. Stay still because if you're moving, it will not pick you up. So be somewhere where you're safe and sound and just sit there and let it revive you and heal you up. That's the key thing with that. And then her actual go-to skill is going to be her restoration field. This little baby right here can also not only block bullets and things like that, but you can place it on any surface, flat surface. Don't try to put it on the ground or anything like that, but you can put it on stairs and stuff of that nature. And that way you can heal everyone and anyone in that surrounding area. And yes, you can use this in the zone and it can be used to keep your teammates in the zone safe and healed up instead of using those crucial med packs. So if you want to play the zone and play it safe, or if you get caught outside the zone, this is where she thrives and comes in handy. Though later on in the later circles, she can't put out much healing. But if you combo this with not only her medics and her restoration field, you should be safe and sound. Especially you have other teammates that can help with their passives to boost the healing effects and shield effects. And you will be A-OK. -okay. And speaking of passive skills, hers is that the fact that she can rescue teammates faster than anyone else. So if you go down, make sure you have a center player to come pick you up in your time of need. That way you get up a lot faster. And if you're playing with the center, make sure you let the center go pick people up so that you can remain shooting, defending, and helping them instead of you going to do it while she's playing that role because she gets them up faster and it's just a better synchronization of using your skills and using your potential heroes to their maximum. Now, leveling up, you see that all throughout these, you get so many different skills, you get different bonuses. So it's be quick to actual level her up so that your cooldowns can be reduced, so that you can reduce the revival times of your heroes. And when you send a deploys her recovery device, that provides healing and shield repair to teammates within range. So all of these things are healthy. Make sure you just level her up as quick as you can. Now, with that being said, we're going to just dive on in to some gameplay so you can see how to properly play Senna. Now, we're going to land somewhere safe. So that's the one thing about just playing in general. You want to make sure you land somewhere safe and sound that you know where not a lot of people will be at. So if you play how you should, you should be playing her passively. That way you can level up everything that you need. And then that way be able to support your team in their time of need. So get right here. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and get what we can. Get all the equipment that we need as well as making sure we get all the EXP quick, fast, and in a hurry. That way we can go ahead and get everything leveled up. So that we can provide our teammates with the best support that we can. 
Like I said, with her, I'm a passive player because I'm a support player when I play with her. I don't want to try to overextend. I don't want to try to overdo what I do. I just want to make sure I'm properly helping my teammates. Speaking of, let's see here. When you don't have anybody on the mics or intercoms like that, it's best to try to play with your team. Don't overdo it. We did see a Jupiter. There we go. You can't go wrong with that Jupiter. You guys let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite gun to play with when you're playing this game? When you play with your favorite champion? There are so many things to do. Some champions work better with certain different actual guns and some don't. So it's best to know which guns to use for your champion. All right, look like they already engaging with somebody. And again, keeping an eye on that. There we go. We see one of my, I uh, see that somebody down there is a little low. So I want to go ahead and use my med kit to make sure they're healed up. Uh oh, let's get out of that. Well, we want to pick up everything we can. Make sure you always keep your guns reloaded. Of course, that is a no-brainer. Woo! There we go. We don't want to play no games. We're just going to get right into it. Open fire. I love this feeling. We see that right over there. We want to go get that real quick. So that way we can just keep on going, keep on leveling up as fast as we can. Make sure you use the terrain to your advantage. The quickest way is always the best way. See, they got it. Good job. Good job, guys. So we got the Rhino, we wanna go ahead and hold it. Just in case, cause you never know when you might need that extra ammo. Uh oh. We can use our drone to try to bring them up, but oh, but it couldn't do it. It was not enough. So we wanna go over here and try to help our teammate. Nice, they were able to get that kill. It might be able to revive. If they'll let me go over there, I can revive them. They do got a magazine level four. Let's go over here. We we'll go ahead and get that and get that cool down. Is our teammate actually here? 
They are not. I, I don't think they're here. I think they're actually gone. Sometimes you get that. You either get bots or people that quit. People can have bad internet connections, so many different things. We do hear shots. Got him. Restoring shield. Nice. We killed the Reaper. Good job. See if they're up here still. Are they still up here? Nope. Nice. That was real nice, though. So let's keep on pushing. We're going to see what we can do with this. We might be able to come out on top. Was able to knock them out real quick. Restoring shields. There's a shield XP here. Get our shields back up. Reloading. Let's get our reload back up. Team's been really good so far. Haven't even had to really uh, try to heal anybody. Let's let them know. Let them know that we got a level five shield here. We have a shield right here, so we can also use it to shield swap if we need to. But over here, having the high ground and we usually have the mid space, this is gonna be really good for us. We got one shot left on our Rhino. We need to be careful of that. Wonder if he sees anybody. Danger, careful. I said I saw somebody over here moving. Nice, he hit him with that sniper. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So I'm gonna stick with him just so we can keep him alive.
down to the final few teams. We just need to stay alive, and we got this, guys. Nice. I got you. Nice. There's a growth XP here. Storing shields. Don't rush me. Got him. Stealth activated. Pop our drone right here. We get our heels right here. And we got the kill. Let's go, guys. That was great. In our time of need, we were able to actually give ourselves the heels and shields that we probably needed to survive. And that alone helped us during our last final team fight. And with great teamwork with our team we were able to not only keep them alive keep ourselves alive but come out on top now if you have any questions about Cinna, let me know down below in those comments so we can teach you how to be the best Cinna player that you need to be we couldn't do those overly good skills like i said using it in the actual using it outside of the zone and things like that but hey when you play good and do good you don't have to thank you guys for watching if you have any questions let me know and remember to always always Stay frisky and that I love you. They act like you fuck with them. They don't know I be gunning. Pow pow, got them running. I feel like they just racing. Over to come over to party with me. Shots on shots way over the